Mark Veterans Day, an elementary school in Latham showing students just a fraction of what it takes to serve our country. Our Cassie Hudson joins us now with more on that story. Cassie, good morning. Good morning. This week, fifth graders from the North Colony Central School District being put to the test by local veterans, seeing if they have what it takes to answer the call of duty. Take a look. In honor of Veterans Day, fifth graders at Latham Ridge Elementary planking, saluting, and marching in the boots of America's heroes. Yeah, we did some workouts. <laughs> Were you working up a sweat? Uh, yeah, yeah. Veterans from five different branches of the military kicking off the event with introductions. I'm Staff Sergeant Piston, I'm with the 40th Army Band. Then it was time to sweat. Students being divided into groups led by the visiting veterans. I think they get really excited because they get to actually participate and like put their uh, PE skills to work. It's an honor to be here to be with like so many other veterans who service are just you know, pale in comparison, you know. Daniel Chevrette joined the military when he was 17 years old, serving a total of six years between the U.S. Air Force and the Air National Guard. His nephew, Micah, proudly inviting his uncle to be at the school event. My awesome nephew was like, hey, Uncle Dan, I bet you could do a minute plank straight. And I said, come on, you got to do it with me. Come on, almost there. Keep going, keep going. Kids are cheering other kids on, like it's super cool. So it's super cool to like see that kind of change up the kids' day. The goal of the challenge is to show students why fitness is not only crucial in their military careers, but why it's important in everyday life. Do you think maybe you might be interested or think about maybe a career in the military? Uh, I'm not sure. It sounds a bit scary, so I I don't really know. What about you, Ferris? I think it would be really cool, uh, but I feel like I'm going to stick with something else. And while the exercises may have not inspired every student to want to enlist when they grow up, it did give some of them a new appreciation about what it takes to protect and defend our country. What a fun event, and it was actually the school's ninth time holding that event, and the first time they were able to do it in person since 2019. For more stories on how we're honoring America's heroes, just visit the Veterans Voices page at News10.com. Yeah, it really is an awesome idea. I'm sure it was eye-opening for a mm -hmm. lot of them. Thanks, Kathy.